Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. If you've been following my channel, you'll know about a month ago I posted a video on interactive conversations. Now, recently with Wombacraft's help, we've created a filter that will do this pretty much automatically. You just follow the instructions and I'll be showing you how to do um, all the stuff you need to know in this video. Anyway, I'm going to start off by coming over here and showing you how the system actually works. Now, if you watched the original video, you'll remember I had something awful looking like that um, for the redstone mechanics behind this software um, or this system. I then moved on to the Mark II. If you follow me on Twitter, you would have probably seen all this before, but I'm going to give it an explanation anyway. Um, and it worked in a similar sort of method to that, except it was a little bit more modular and you can see a little cleaner. However then, in a leap of faith, I moved on to this one here. Now, this one is the only one that's really worth explaining because it's the best, the quickest and the most compact. It works off a scoreboard system. So if we have a look over here, we have a chat one scoreboard and this is the example. Now, as you progress through the conversation, your um, score for this scoreboard is set to different things. Now that basically just in turn leads you to different parts of the conversation which then gives you options to propagate further. So that's how it works, it's using tell world commands and it's fairly basic really um, but what Wumper did um, is he created a filter to generate all this for us. So go check out his channel, he'll be doing a video on the filter too so there'll be that in the description. Also, in the description, you're going to need all the filters and such that you will be using in the video. Well, that's the interactive conversations filter, obviously, by Wampa, and the NBT editor filter that we're also going to be using. So, the first thing you're going to want to do if you're going to set up a system like this is get some books and put down a chest. So, um, you want writable books. So, I'm going to grab two of them, make sure there's nothing in there. Oh, look, there is. Um, <laughs> I haven't done this more than once or anything. Um, so what we're going to do is create one book and sign it. And then you're going to call it whatever you're going to call your NPC. Now I'm going to call it example. Um, and you're going to put a slash slash after that. So you're going to sign that and then put it in the chest. The next thing you want to do is you want to create your initial sort of um, conversation starter. When you go into range of this NPC, this is what's going to originally come up. So I'm going to say, hey there. Um, but you can write whatever you want and it can fill as much space as you need. Now on the next page you're going to do slash slash 2 and you're going to write the first option, so the response that you can click on. So I'm going to do howdy partner, I don't know why. In the next page you're going to do slash slash 3 and you're going to put another sort of response. Now I'm going to put, I don't know, what's going on in town. And finally, we're going to do slash slash four. Um, get out of my way. And we're going to click sign. And we're going to put example because that's what we called the original book. Slash slash one. We're going to sign that and we're going to put it back in the chest. So, the way it works is this is sort of the initializer book. It gives it the um, thing it's going to go by. And that's going to be the name of our scoreboard eventually. So then in the next thing, this is going to be the initial piece of text. And the slash slash 2, slash slash 3, and slash slash 4 are going to basically um, branch off to different books that will be called example, slash slash 3, slash slash 4. And it will basically give us a way to, to move around within the text system. So I'm going to hop on over into MC Edit, and we're going to use the NBT Editor filter to make this a little easier. Right, so select your chest and go and run the filter. A little window should pop up and inside there go to your books and you should find one called example slash slash and one called example slash slash one. And I believe actually I may have gotten this wrong and it's in fact example slash slash example like that. So you can easily just change things in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here with all our pages in there and I'm going to hit copy down here. I'm going to go to the items thing and I'm going to hit paste, 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 paste. I'll paste it a few times. Um, don't know how many of these we'll actually need, but it's good to have a few so we can edit them as we go. Now, this I'm going to call example 2. 
Now you may have noticed that when I clicked that there, in fact it didn't come up with anything. And this could be a, a bug with the filter, but I find if you want to fix that, all you have to do is click done, hit save, and run the filter again. And that should um, clear up any problems that you have. Sometimes when you copy things, it doesn't quite um, understand that it's all there and you need to just refresh it a bit. So we're going to call this example slash slash 2. Hit done. And we're basically just going to go through all of these and put them examples slash slash 2 slash slash 3, etc. So that was 2. And we'll do this one as 3. And then I'll make this one as 4. And that's all we'll do for the time being. And you should get the idea of what we're going to be doing. So let's go back to our original one. You can see 2. That's going to link to this example slash slash 2 here. 3 is going to link to this 3. And 4 is going to link to that 4. So basically what I mean by that is when you click on the um, tell raw command that is prompted by this howdy partner, it's going to set your example score to... Um, 3 or 2 and that is then going to in turn activate the command block which detects um, the area for 2 and it's going to run this part so when you say howdy partner he says what brings you to town and that's what he responds to when you say howdy partner now you can see we're basically just going to be creating a similar sort of system. So this one, instead of being slash slash 2, it's going to be slash slash 5. And, and you can say, I'm looking for things to buy. Done. And I'm going to do slash slash 1. Let's talk about something different. So what this is going to do is a th something that I really want to point out here. Um, it's going to bring us back to number one and this is a good point because it will allow us to branch back to different places um, depending on where we are so we can always have somewhere back to go. Now if I ran this at the moment there is no book called example slash slash five so if we clicked on this nothing would happen anyway we'll get to that in a second let's continue this let's go what's going on in town and this will be slash slash three so let's go to pages here and this is going to be his response to that so we're going to say there is plenty sh plenty of traders farmers and um what else is there no, traders and farmers, we'll go with that. Traders and farmers. There we go. Now, here we're going to have, um, we're going to do slash s6, and we're going to do tell me about the traders, and slash s7, tell me about the farmers. You can probably hear me clicking there, but that's okay. And here we're going to have slash s1. I don't care about this. So it's always useful just to have a little prompt that can take you back to the start if you don't want people to be having to leave the leave the area of the conversation and come back if they want to go to previous areas in the tree. So there we have our um, bit here. I'm actually going to um, change this up. Um, I'm looking for things to buy and tell me about the traders. I think I'm going to have both of those prompts go to number six or number five even um, so that we can um, have a generalized response and some parts of the trees don't have to um, be too in depth. It's a good way to create a feel that the tree is sort of quite in depth without actually having to do a lot. Sorry about the uh, cut in the video there. Um, my computer's been acting up a little bit. But um, let's get on with the tutorial. Um, all I'm really going to do now, just to finish things off, is do books for 5 and 6. Um, so tell me about the farmers and tell me about the traders. And I'll show you um, that. So this can be number 5. And this can be number six down here and we'll delete the last one 
So number six. And in here, I'm just going to put very simple stuff, nothing too fancy. Um, we'll do slash slash um, one. We'll, we'll make it go back once you've um, done this. So it'll do um, number five, and then it will take you back to number three, like this. So we'll do slash slash three, and it'll be. Um, Thanks for the info. And then we have this one here. We delete these two. So delete, delete. And this one we're going to do similar. Just going to do delete and delete. This is going to be slash just five again. I want to just put something like good to know. And then we're also copying paste this one into both of these. So paste there and paste there. Then we just need to finish off the responses. The five is telling me about the, the traders. The traders are a vital part of the community. As you can see, I'm just writing absolute nonsense at the moment. But yeah, you get the point. And the farmers make food. There we go. Sorry if I sound a little um a little quiet in this last bit. I don't mean to. I'm just trying to get this finished and make sure that I'm not gonna make any errors. So yeah. Let's see. I think that's good to go. So let me run you through what's gonna happen one last time. So, when you get into the um, filter, the first thing it's going to look for is the slash slash example bug. Once it finds that, it's going to create a scoreboard. Then it's going to do this slash slash one and basically initialize the conversation. Now, these slash slash two, slash slash threes, and slash slash fours indicate towards the various books slash slash two, um, three, and four now there seems to be a little bit of an error because i didn't make number four but what was number four get out of my way um we can do number four fairly simply we've got two there three there five six and let's do four this can be a example of how um things can be terminated so we'll paste that in um and of course, it also will just be terminated if the player walks away. So we'll make this so that's just four. Um, you just have to, to delete the branching responses and say, sorry, I don't know, whatever. And that should be good now. If we click done and hit save, then go to the interactive conversations filter that's not the right one <laughs> and we have a couple more options here we can put the actual name um, because the example was just a scoreboard thing so we'll call him I don't know James and I like to have an aqua name and put this as gold and these will automatically be in bold and then you run filter and what it's going to do is it's going to generate the structure just above you right here so you can move that wherever you want and it's all ready to go pretty much now you hit save um, exit the world open it back up in minecraft and let's see if what we've created does anything so move away from it first and switch on the clock and then come over here as you can see james prompts us and says hey there Howdy partner, what's going on? Bloody blah, blah blah. So let's see if it works. Howdy partner. What brings you to town? I'm looking for things to buy. The traders are a vital part of the community. Thanks for the info. I don't care about this. And it takes you back to the beginning. And everything seems to be working pretty well. So get out of my way. He just says sorry. And the conversation's been terminated. If you walk away, 
and come back as you can see it restarts so it's all working perfectly fine and I, th I think that using MC Edit is quite a good way of doing it so if you want to that's the way you can do it but if not just do it however you want as long as you have the books and they've been created you can do it but MC Edit allows you edit to edit a bit easier anyway that's all for this video well thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, download it from the bottom and go check out Wampacraft. Goodbye.